So to recap, the things you want to get while they're on sale are the expensive items and the one-time purchases. So if you're pregnant, that's things like breastfeeding-related stuff or furniture for your baby's room. If you have a baby already, it's toddler-level stuff. And I also give you some general gift ideas that will benefit the whole family. And things you don't want to get this time of year necessarily are things like baby clothes and diapers and formula, because those are things that you're probably going to get lots of from friends. And also, they are pretty much always on sale anyway. Hi, you're listening to season four of the Baby Manual podcast, the podcast that helps new parents all over the world navigate the everyday challenges that arise when you have a young baby. This season will help you decide which pregnancy, baby, and toddler items you actually need and which ones are a waste of time and money. I'm pulling on the knowledge of hundreds of thousands of new parents around the world, other pediatricians, doctor moms, the Academy of Pediatrics, breaking pediatrics news sites, all to give you the best information and recommendations that I can because I know how overwhelming it can be. I'm your host, a pediatrician, a mom, and an author, Dr. Carol Keim. Hello and welcome to the first episode of this season. So baby items you actually need. Today, we're going to talk about baby items you should get while they're on sale. If you're listening in real time, this is coming out just before Black Friday. So there are about to be a bunch of sales on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and now they just do this whole week-long thing usually. There's also typically another sale around Labor Day, another one around Memorial Day, which is the end of May. Various other holidays that tend to have sales. So just keep in mind, this can apply lots of other times of the year. Anyways, we're going to go through a couple of items that tend to go on sale at specific times and you want to get them new. And so it's a good idea to find them while they're on sale. All right. I'm going to go kind of by category. First, I'm going to talk about things for moms who are currently pregnant to get for yourself. Then I'm going to talk about things to get for your baby if you're currently pregnant. So things that you'll use like in the next year, like the first year of your baby's life. And then if you already have a baby, we're going to talk about things to get for your current baby that you'll be wanting next in the next year of their life. And then we're going to talk about general household things or things that you can get for your partner or your spouse. Remember, there's going to be links to all of these things in the show notes. You can access those underneath. If you go into the podcast app, you should be able to find those show notes in there and then there should be links in there. So pregnant mom items. First, I want to talk about my breast pump because breast pumps are something that you should get while you're still pregnant. You can use it at the very end of pregnancy to induce labor. After 37 weeks, you can start using the breast pump a couple of times a day. And uh, that over time, over a couple of weeks, could theoretically cause you to go into labor and then also could help you collect colostrum for your baby, might help your milk come in sooner. You might want it on hand when your baby is born in the hospital to also then like supplement your baby in the hospital. Always go with your pediatrician and your lactation consultant's recommendations, of course, but this is what I would suggest. When you're choosing a breast pump, so I looked through a whole bunch of different ones and a lot of them do go on sale on Black Friday. The newer breast pumps nowadays are the wearable ones. And I really like these for moms who are working. So if you're planning to work and pump and you want something that is wearable and not very visible, the best one that I found for that is the LV, the original LV. And that's the one that I ended up getting. It's really quiet. The biggest complaints that I saw about it are that it only holds a small amount. It says that it holds five ounces. I found that really it only holds like three ounces and then it starts to leak. So if you tend to only produce around three ounces or if you don't know how much you're going to produce, I'd say if your breasts before pregnancy are like on the smaller side, like A or B size, that's probably fine and not going to be an issue for you. If you tend to be an overproducer or it just seems like women who tend to have more breast tissue often will produce more. It's not always a one-to-one, but if you're not really sure, if you think you might overproduce or if you feel like everyone in your family is an overproducer, then you know you may not want to do that one because it is expensive. And if you get it on sale, like you can't return it. So anyways, if you're if you've decided that you want to get this one, this is a good time to get it. That's when I got mine. I saved a lot of money on it. There's also uh, the willow is another one that is wearable, that's invisible. 
And then there's a handful of other ones that have things that stick out of the top. So you can kind of see it, but if you threw something over it, like a scarf or whatever, you wouldn't necessarily notice it. You could theoretically wear it at work. It's not like those old, you know, like the trumpet ones that are huge and you have to sit down, you have to be like attached to a wall to use them. You know, these are truly portable and can be worn at work. So anyway, so this is a good time to get your breast pump. And then if you don't want to do that, and also if you want to have a wall breast pump, it's a good idea because the wall ones do tend to have larger volumes, capabilities. They also have higher suction. And so a lot of women will just get more out of them from those uh, the ones that plug into the wall. Those ones you can pump directly into the bottles that you're going to be feeding your baby from too. So super convenient. Uh, so anyways, I think it's a good idea to have one of each kind of breast pump, breast pump if you're planning to breastfeed and ever give bottles of breast milk at some point. Yeah. So anyways, breast pumps, then hands-free pumping bra along with that. So something that allows you to pump without having to hold on to the pump, you'll actually get more out of it that way because they'll hold it tight against your breasts. I have a link to one in the show notes, but for this one, it's kind of any any brand is fine. Um, but just when you're getting your breast pump, you want to get the pumping bra with it. And so that's why I said it here, even though it really doesn't matter if you get it on sale or not. They tend to not be that expensive. Breastfeeding bras and shirts. These are things that I lived in for the first several months of my baby's life. Um, I only wore a handful of shirts and bras. So like I would say invest in some good ones. This is a good time to get them when they're on sale. Uh, a lot of the bigger companies have them. But we'll put some links in the show notes for some good ones. Um, but really, any any breastfeeding bras that are comfortable and shirts that are going to be comfortable, you will use these the whole time. Tank tops and all these breastfeeding related things. The Lila delivery gown. This is one that they tend to have sales. I would get these when they're on sale. It's very soft. It has snaps in all the right places so that you can keep the gown on and still get an epidural if you want to and still have an IV and get, have the blood pressure cuff and uh, remove parts of it and stay covered for parts of it and breastfeed. And it's it's really awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. I heard about it on TikTok in the first place and I absolutely loved mine. So again, we'll link that one below as well. It was de- developed by um, a labor and delivery nurse and it's just, it's an excellent thing to have. Um, So yes, I would say, get this, get this new. You'll love it. A pregnancy pillow. If you're going to get a pregnancy pillow, this is a great time to get it. This is a kind of one-time purchase that you will use through the rest of your pregnancy. If you're still pregnant, it's usually just like a giant U-shaped pillow that you can snuggle with, but it supports your back and your belly. And it just, it really is helpful towards the end of pregnancy. Um, As your body gets bigger, it gets harder and harder to sleep. So this can help preserve your sleep towards the end. Compression socks. If you're going to get a handful of compression socks, this is a good time to get them as well if you're still pregnant. Bamboobies. These are bamboo inserts that go in your bra to catch milk for when you're, you know, when you're breastfeeding, it catches the extra drips or after pumping catches those drips, or if you're having let down, um, it can catch that as well. These are really soft and they don't stick to your nipples like some of the other um, breast pads and inserts do. So I really like the bamboobies. They were actually developed by somebody who is local to me in Colorado, which I thought was really cool. I love this brand and highly recommend these ones. So we'll link those. Spanx, I, so Spanx and other kind of body shapewear. I hate that our society is so focused on looks, and also I feel like this is something that I really enjoyed having after having a baby was some kind of shapewear, so that I felt like I could go out in public for nice events and wear nice clothing, and not feel like I was in somebody else's body. So some sort of shapewear. This is a good time to get it. Uh, these tend to go on sale around Black Friday. Bombas, the socks. Bombas are bamboo socks. They are comfortable. They are warm, but not overly hot. Um, they're perfect socks. Get them. They, they go on sale for Black Friday. Uh, get those. And then anyone that's doing packages of services, if you have 
say, a photographer in mind for like birth photography, maternity photo shoot, and newborn photos, family photos, those kind of things, you might find somebody that's doing a package this time of year. So um, I would look into that as well. And then maybe like prenatal massages or any other sort of like therapists that work with women who are pregnant or who have recently had a baby, body work type stuff. This is a great time to get that. Also the baby manual. So I put my book on sale every year for Black Friday and every year for Mother's Day. So if it's around those times, check out the baby manual on Amazon. All right, things that are for your baby. If you're still pregnant and you're about to have a baby, these are things that you're going to use sometime in the first year of life. And it's a great idea to get it while they're on sale. Then you probably want to get it new. So a crib. Now with the caveat. (laughs) So most cribs nowadays are the same. You can get a three-in-one crib where it goes from a an infant crib to like a toddler bed where you put the mattress all the way down and it has like a you know railing that's like partially covering the front of it for the toddler bed and then it eventually turns into like a headboard and a footboard for a twin bed they're kind of all the same in terms of like safety and regulations and things it's just a matter of your style and if you want to get like a specific brand or not so you don't necessarily have to get this on sale you don't even have to get it new. You could get this used. Just make sure that it's a recent one and that it's up to safety code. Now, crib mattresses, you probably do want to get while they're on sale because a mattress is a one-time purchase that your child is going to have for a few years. I actually would suggest getting a cheap mattress over a fancy one because what I found is that the cheap ones are waterproof. They're just like this plasticky material Um, They're all safe. All crib mattresses are safe for babies. And so this material is safe, but it's also totally waterproof. And so if your baby throws up or they have diarrhea in their crib and it soaks all the way to the mattress, which often happens at least once in your baby's life, it's going to happen. You want something that's easy to clean, something that you can sanitize. So if you get one of the cheaper plastic ones, you can just wipe it down with like a Clorox wipe and it is clean. Versus if you get one of the fancier ones that are made out of like bed fabric stuff and foam underneath it, it can soak into it and it gets pretty gross and you're going to have to throw it out and get a new mattress for whenever your baby gets sick. So anyways, I would just get a cheap crib mattress. Now, if you're thinking of getting a snoo, these do tend to go on sale a couple of times during the year. And these are things that are very expensive. Now, a snoo is a really fancy crib bassinet thing that has a swaddle built into it. And it also has these detectors that can check that sense whether your baby is awake and crying and moving. And it rocks your baby gently and it shushes and helps them fall back asleep. I have seen reviews all over the place for this. A lot of people absolutely love it. They say it's amazing, life-changing, help their sleep a lot. Some people said that their babies didn't like it. And so it's one of those, it's hard to say. Um, And it's a big investment. I would say ultimately, all you really need is a safe place for your baby to sleep. So whether that is a crib or a snoo or a bassinet, anything that is a safe sleeping surface is okay for your baby. So if you are deciding that you want a snoo, this is a good time to get it. In terms of bassinets, I would suggest a travel bassinet that folds up. One of these kind of clamshell style ones. We'll put a link. I don't really know how to explain it other than that, but it's something that I found super useful. You can put it, you can put it on top of the bed. You can put it on the floor. Um, you just unfold it and it's a safe place for your baby to lay down. We also used it as like a changing place for our baby. So we could like throw it in the car and, you know, we have like a, a changing pad that was clean and not one of those ones in a public bathroom, you know, anywhere we went. Uh, Or we could bring it to a hotel room and have a bed for the baby. Some kind of bassinet, like a travel bassinet like that is really helpful to get. And uh, yeah, might as well get it while it's on sale, right? A changing table is another piece of furniture that tends to be expensive and there's a one-time purchase and you can get it while it's on sale. A glider, like a rocking chair glider, 
for holding the baby in. This is a good time to get that. A car seat and stroller. I would highly recommend the Duna. They don't always, I mean, they don't often have sales, but if they, if you ever do see a sale, jump on that. And if not, this one is one that I would say is absolutely worth paying full price for. The Duna is a car seat stroller all in one where the wheels actually fold up into the car seat and then you put the whole thing into the car. It takes like one second to get your baby in and out of the car. You don't have to wake them up when you go someplace when they're sleeping in their car seat. You just turn the car seat into a stroller and you just wheel them inside. Super smooth. I absolutely love it. I recommend it to everybody. It's like a transformer. Like whenever somebody sees it, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Now it is slightly expensive, but the other option is to get a newborn car seat and a stroller attachment for that car seat. It's a lot bulkier. It's almost as expensive. Oh man, it's just like, it's just not worth it. I feel like, um, but if you did have your heart set on a different one, you could also get your car seat and stroller this time of year while they tend to be on sale. All right, diaper bag. If you're going to get a diaper bag that goes with it, the Duna has specific accessories that go with it. So this is a good time to get those if you're getting the Duna. Also, if you just wanted a specific diaper bag, especially a more expensive brand, this is a good time to get that too while it's on sale. A high chair. This is a good time to get a high chair. We'll link some below that that we like. A baby food maker or food processor. So something that like steams the veggies and then blends them up into baby food. Also formula makers like the baby Brezza. Those are good to get when they're on sale. The Hatch sound machine. I have just seen so many raving reviews about this particular one because it's it has the light that goes with it. It makes it like more natural uh, to help them fall asleep and can help you wake up too if you have the alarm setting on it. So Hatch Sound Machine. The Ubi Diaper Pail is one that I specifically love. It's really good at making the room not smell. And uh, we used it for cloth diapers. You can also use it for disposable diapers. It, It just has this like sliding lid that like seals the smells. But it's not like the Diaper Genie. It's not like turning the diapers into sausages or anything. It's just putting them all into like one bag. Yeah, we'll link that one. Nipples and bottles. You want to get a couple of different nipples of different flows. I would suggest preemie flow nipples for when your baby is first starting to bottle feed, especially if they're breastfeeding and they're ever going to do bottles. You want to start them early off, at least in the first four months of life. And you want to start with a preemie flow so that they have to still work for it so that they don't start to prefer the bottle over the breast. And then once they get a little bit older and they get better at breastfeeding and better at bottle feeding, they can start to feed with like uh, faster flows and higher volumes. Then you want some more advanced nipples. And then when they get even older, then you want like some very advanced ones to give them say bottles of water while they're eating when they're six to 12 months old. All right. Uh, And then, you know, if you want specific bottles, especially glass bottles. This is, you know, get those while they're on sale. Diaper covers for cloth diapers. This is a good time to get those. A baby carrier, like especially a ring sling or a clip carrier. Um, Get those while they're on sale. Carriers are kind of like jeans in that you have to find one that fits your body. So it's really hard to recommend a specific brand. And if a friend tells you, you know, like you have to get this one brand, maybe it might, it might fit your body. It might not be comfortable for you. So I'd say if you have any friends that have a baby carrier, try it out if you can. Try to find a brand that you like and then get it while it's on sale. A pack and play. Um, you're going to need one. This is a good time to get that. An electric nasal suction. I really like the Nail Med one. We'll link that one. The bulb suckers for the snot suckers, like you need some snot suckers. The electric one is just so nice. It also has a light on it. I mean, it's just, it's great. It has just the right amount of suction. It's so easy to use. I love it. And then uh, the Mamaru is the last thing in this category. So the Mamaru is a swing bassinetti thing. It's like it, it lays down and you put your baby in it and it rocks them side to side and it feels like they're in your arms being rocked and helps them fall asleep. So it's for little infants and um, 
So yeah, if you're still pregnant, the mamaru is a great one to have as like a place to set your baby down where they're likely to be happy for a little while and you can get something done, like eat something. It's hard to do when you have a new baby. All right. Now we're going to go over stuff where if you already have a baby and your baby's in the first year of life, stuff that you should get this Black Friday. There's not very much in this category. So silicone plates and cups and silicone bibs. This is a great time to get those things while they're on sale. Also plastic wear. Um, you can get a nice set, you know, of one of these like more expensive sets of feeding stuff. And then they all fit together in the drawer and you only have the one set. And you can get rid of all the mismatch. Like if you're anything like me and you've gotten lots of gifts from lots of friends and some secondhand stuff. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have a, a good, a good solid set of feeding stuff. A toddler car seat. So this is the time to start thinking about the next car seat for when your baby outgrows the current one. I like the Graco Forever Extend to fit because it converts into a couple of different types of car seats. Like it converts into a rear facing toddler seat and then a forward facing and then a booster seat with support and then a booster seat just like the bottom bit of it. So it's it's kind of cool. It is heavy and bulky, but you basically install it once forward facing, once rear facing and then once forward facing. So I like that one. And then also, if you don't want to get that one, um, also another really nice one is a rotating car seat, which is a car seat that you can actually like turn it so that you can get the baby out a lot easier rather than having to like lean over and twist to lift your baby out of there and like twist them on the way out and bonk their head on the car frame on the way out, you know. Uh, so the rotating car seats are super nice. So you can just lift your baby out of there and you want to get those while they're on sale. Car seats are something you have to get new. You cannot, unfortunately, get a used car seat. It's not considered safe. Once a car seat is in an accident, any kind of an accident, even if it's like a very slow fender bender, you need to replace the car seat because the styrofoam that's on the inside of it can get fractured. And so part of the reason that you can't accept a used car seat, even if it's one that's never been used by the person, is even like if they've dropped the box, anything like any kind of impact to it could fracture the car seat itself and it could be considered unsafe. So um, yes, unfortunately you do have to buy these things new. So this is a great time to get a toddler car seat. Also, the Ride Safer Vest. I love this vest. It's for ages three and up. So if you're thinking way ahead or if you have an older child or if you're having a third child and you're like, oh my gosh, how are we going to fit all these car seats in the car? The Ride Safer Vest is a great option. It's like, it looks like just the straps of a backpack, really, Um, a little more than that. But it clips the car seat, or it, slip, it clips the seat belt into position, and you use it instead of a car seat. And it was developed by a firefighter. It's just as safe as a car seat, and it clips that seat belt in just as it would hold in an adult. And so um, it keeps them safe in the event of an impact, and it doesn't take up any space. And so you can fit uh, more children in the seat together with that. And it's great for traveling because it's really lightweight. And so we always use that for like, when we go to Europe, we can use it in in taxis or uh, any other like rental cars, anything like that. Um, It's really nice and easy to travel with, but the children have to be at least three years old and 30 pounds to be able to use those. So, you know, thinking ahead kind of a thing. Other toddler things, the life back is a device for if your child is choking. It's something that you put over their face and then you pull on it and it pulls the object out if they are choking. Great time to get that while that's on sale. The Tush Baby Carrier, this carrier specifically is for older babies and it's sort of like, it looks like a fanny pack. It goes on your hip, but it's like a seat for your child and then they can sit on it. And so their weight is supported by your hips and it helps save your back and you can carry them a little bit longer. So this is great for traveling or even just for like at home. You know, if you have a 
a clinger child. These are really, really helpful. I love this for, yeah, for holding mine. Also a ring sling is good for that too. The Nugget Couch, specifically Nugget brand, but there's a whole bunch of knockoffs on Amazon too. Uh, but Nugget brand specifically, like it really holds up well to wear and tear. It's easy to clean. It's like those wooden blocks of different shapes that you can build into like castles and stuff, but it's furniture for toddlers. So it's like foam, rectangles, squares, cylinders, triangles, and they can build it into like a couch or a bed or a castle or a fort or whatever. Um, it's really fun. It's really soft. It's easy to clean. They come in some like great colors. Uh, so yeah, I get those while they're on sale and you can get a couple of them and put them together. Kids love them. The Montessori climbing gyms, those pickler systems, those are great. This is a great time to get those too while they're on sale. They're great to keep your child busy as they're learning to walk and climb and uh, as they get bigger. Um, especially like for cold weather and rainy days too. Kiwi crates tend to go on sale this time of year. Those are really fun activity crates and boxes, uh, monthly subscription boxes that they send to your child with projects and um, you know, like art projects and science projects, experiments, things like that. They're really cool to help your child's development and creativity and just a lot of fun Really well thought out. I, I love the Kiwi Crates. And the Holistic Mama's Handbook is the book that I wrote. I also put that on sale every Mother's Day and every Black Friday. And that is a book to help parents of children who are six and under who are too young to take over the counter medications for when they get sick with common ailments like, you know, um, respiratory infections or, you know, c- cough and cold, uh, vomiting, diarrhea rashes, all kinds of things. What, you know, what sort of supportive, holistic and alternative care can you give them when they're not feeling so well? This is a great time to get that book as well. Holistic Mama's Handbook. And now for general household items and maybe things for your spouse or things that would kind of help the whole family out. Vacuums, the Dyson vacuum specifically. I love my Dyson. Um, I asked around online a bunch before deciding and decided this is my very favorite. So, and any of the Dyson vacuums, honestly. But the Dyson is a great cordless vacuum that has a long battery life and good suction. And, you know, is great for picking up like pet hair and yeah, will actually also pick up like small pieces of toys. So use with caution if you have young children. The Roomba. This is a good time to get a Roomba when they're on sale. For TVs, I especially love the frame TV, the Samsung frame. It looks like a picture on the wall. Um, It it looks like like artwork, you know, like a giant family photo or your child's art or whatever. You You can just make it look like an actual photo on the wall. They're so pretty. And then when you watch TV on it, it's not as like... It's not as blindingly bright as the other TVs. It's a little bit dimmer, a little bit more muted, um, more like sort of a matte look to it, not so glossy, shiny, and not as like piercing in your eyeballs. So I really like the frame TV. So I would say get that one when it's on sale. The Bug Assault. Okay, so this one (laughs) I asked online and so many people recommended this and I thought it was hilarious. So (laughs) Bug Assault like bug dash a dash salt is this like little gun that you load up with table salt and you shoot it at flies or wasps or whatever kind of bugs and it kills them with a spray of salt. Everyone said that this was like the best gift that they ever got or gave to a spouse. So, um, and apparently this is a good like Black Friday thing to get. (laughs) So yes, get that. Uh, a Fitbit. This is a great time. This is when I got my Fitbit because they go on sale. The Fitbits are a great way to track your sleep and your steps. And as a new parent, I feel like those are things that were very interesting metrics to me and very helpful for me to know like, oh, hey, I only slept three hours last night. That's why I feel like this versus like, okay, I slept a lot. I feel better. Look at that. Or man, I didn't sleep enough. 
And now I need to like figure out how to make up, you know, this and take a nap. So that was helpful. And then also like, am I moving enough? Am I getting out enough? Am I doing enough? So the sleep, the sleep and the steps, super helpful. So Fitbit, Apple Watch, whatever kind of thing like that. This time of year, they go on sale. Um, This is a great time to get a bidet system for your potty if you don't already have one. And uh, if you're pregnant, you might also like this for cleaning off afterwards, but also you need one with adjustable force because um, you need one that's very gentle after having a baby. A bidet system like the Tushy or the Toto Wash Lid or some other sort of bidet system that goes over your toilet, they tend to go on sale on Black Friday or other times of years. The meter thermometer, this one particularly, this is an electronic thermometer for like food, for meat, for whatever. And it like hooks up to your phone and it's really fancy and goes on sale. So if you wanted to get that particular one, sort of a random thing, but anyways, good time of year to get it. Pajamas for the whole family to match. Kiki pants are ones that are bamboo pajamas and primary is the company that does solid colors. And so if you want to get ones for like multiple children or for multiple family members, I love those ones in particular. A mini fridge. If you are pregnant and about to have a baby, you might like to have a mini fridge in your bedroom for breast milk, for for nighttime pumping and or for snacks for if you're breastfeeding, especially um, because you're going to get hungry in the middle of the night. And it's really nice to have that. So mini fridge this time of year. Hated vests. My husband got me this last year and it was the best. I loved it so much. You can get these vests that have a battery pack in them and these wires throughout them and you push a button and it heats up and it's like instantly warm. It's so nice in the winter. And when my baby was first born, I would just tuck him inside of the vest with me and put that on when we were taking my daughter to school and he stayed nice and warm. So I loved having that. AirPods, the AirPods Pro that have the noise canceling or really any noise canceling headphones are very nice to have when you have a small child. They can help you when, you know, when you're trying to sleep and your spouse is on duty with the baby and you need to rest, but baby's making noise, like you need something with noise canceling, this is a great time to get that. Also the loop earplugs, if you tend to get overwhelmed, something like those loops that go in, it can help filter out sounds. This is a great time to get those. Those baby carrying shirts or, uh, Snuggle shirts, things that you can put the baby inside, and they get, they like have snaps that open up, um, either for mom or for dad or for you know whatever for partner. These are really nice shirts to have to snuggle with your baby when they're really tiny, especially to do like some skin to skin time. And those things are pretty expensive, so get those when they're on sale. New cookware. If you're going to get new stuff, if you're worried about plastics, you might want to switch over to glass stuff. If you're, if you have nonstick cookware that is starting to flake, that needs to be replaced. That's not safe. That's putting stuff into your food that you don't want to get into your food. So, um, this might be a good time to get new cookware because they're on sale right now. The Exergen thermometer specifically, this is an electric thermometer. It's a temporal artery thermometer. So you start with it in the middle of the forehead and you go all the way across the temporal artery, which is over the temple and then into the hairline. And it does this like fast beep when it goes over the temporal artery. So you know that you've got the right spot. It's very accurate. It gives you a core temperature. I love this thermometer. It's fairly expensive. Get it when it's on sale. And uh, lastly, an air fryer. Um, If you're going to get an air fryer, this is a great time to get that. This is something that I just, uh, I love anything fried. And then especially when you're breastfeeding and you're wanting just all kinds of heavy food, it's a way to make it a little bit healthier. So it's a good time to get that. Alrighty. So there's links to all of these things in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, I would love to hear those. If you want to send me a review, I would love that. You can send me an email. I will put my email in the show notes below. And I would love any feedback at all on this show. 
If you're new to this podcast, I'm remember I'm a, a Dr. Carol Kime. I'm a pediatrician, a mom, an author. I help new parents all over the world navigate you know, the daily challenges of having babies and understand their babies and um, just you know enjoy happier, healthier lives. And the first season is all about the first year of life. Second season is ages one to three. Third season is holistic and alternative care. Season four is going to be all about baby items you actually need stuff that you don't need, how to really sift through all of the ads we get bombarded with when we're pregnant and social media just knows that and sends us all of this stuff. It can be so overwhelming to decide what we actually need and what's just a waste of time and money. So I'm going to take you through the basics like clothing, furniture, feeding, all that stuff, and then let you know you know, what kind of stuff you should get when it's on sale, what you should get when it's new, uh, what you should get secondhand, and what things I think the brand actually matters on. There aren't very many of those things. So to recap, the things you want to get while they're on sale are the expensive items and the one-time purchases. So if you're pregnant, that's things like breastfeeding related stuff or furniture for your baby's room. If you have a baby already, it's toddler level stuff. And I also give you some general gift ideas that will benefit the whole family. And things you don't want to get this time of year necessarily are things like baby clothes and diapers and formula, because those are things that you're probably going to get lots of from friends. And also they are pretty much always on sale anyway. Thank you for being here. Uh, Enjoy the ride and have a wonderful day. Happy Black Friday. Thanks for listening. Remember, all of the links from this episode are in the show notes, and you can always go to my link tree, which is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash D-R-K-E-I-M. If you know anybody who is pregnant or has a little baby, tell them about this show. Maybe they would like to listen to this podcast. They might find something helpful in here. And if you know any friends who are pregnant and want to get them something for their baby shower, I would definitely recommend my book, The Baby Manual. It's meant to be all-inclusive, Really, all the questions that arise in the first year of your baby's life are in that book. So Baby Manual is also linked in the show notes and on my link tree. Have a wonderful day.